If the chosen saints must wait 14 and a half days through tremendous difficulty, as we've seen, is it unreasonable that God would almost double that for us to 27 days? Because our wait is a comparative walk in the park. It's a walk in the park. Blessed 27 days, you certainly needed patience. <clears throat> now think of this. We learned three things in recent months. This sort of speaks to the year again. Why? What if we learned the 1335? And that Adar begins the kingdom to Israel, and that Abib 1 begins the kingdom of God. Years ago, what if we'd learned years ago? We would have surely expected Christ too soon. With much more to learn after that, think of what we just did. They're a package deal, those three things, the 1335 uh, Adar and Abib 1. There is coming a twist. <clears throat> but imagine we had to wait another 27 days again next year, almost a month, believing we were blessed. How could you believe next year? How could you believe it's certain if this year failed? Or any future year, how could you believe it if you'd been through it once, you're waiting almost a month? I wonder if it's true this year. The 1335 truly can only apply in the first year you learned its powerful meaning. Imagine yourself waiting another year and another year and another and another. 27 days blessed works once. Faith becomes hope ever after. And surely come goes away ever after. It will surely come. Now, we know all the other spaces uh, through the little season at the end of the millennium, so there's no question we know the spaces. The picture is set in stone. It is inarguable. I put it up there with believing the Sabbath or tithing or baptism by immersion or any other element of the truth that you know of. 